Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's really my pleasure and my honor to be here today highlighting some of the key features of the hydrogen ecosystem of Abu Dhabi. One that is particularly relevant, and it is especially important, uh, this hydrogen summit this year is particularly important in the view of the Department of Energy. In the last few years, we have seen a lot of movement, uh, massive expectations, um, you know, some heated debates, some ups and downs in everything related to uh, the hydrogen economy, the future of hydrogen, the low carbon hydrogen. But I want to be very clear here, um, from the Department of Energy where we are steering the energy transition of the Emirate to make it competitive, seamless and predictable, we have clarity and certainty around the importance of how important hydrogen is, low carbon hydrogen. Because as we have been moving towards the lower hanging fruits, decarbonizing the grid, reducing emissions, installing renewables, taking advantage of the capacities of our nuclear reactors, we are now running into a um, new phase of the energy transition where you know, hard to abate sectors will actually be more and more relevant. The UAE has a very important industrial sector and has clearly a lot of um, um, ambition around the growth of industry. But that growth has to be made compatible with economic, social, and environmental sustainability. And then is when we see that hydrogen is a fundamental piece. Is, um, it, it, there is no decarbonized industry future, sustainable industry in the future, if we don't have low carbon hydrogen at a competitive rate and fully available to fuel those hard to abate sectors. For that reason, the Department of Energy has been working for the last few years in creating the conditions for hydrogen to flourish in the Emirates. And I think, as I said before, this, this meeting is particularly relevant because we are approaching that tipping point. We are going, we're getting somewhere very soon. Last year we launched the low carbon hydrogen policy that was a milestone and, you know, first of a kind in the region and in, in very many other um, uh, developed jurisdictions where we uh, streamlined the business case. We identified the partners and I'm more than happy to, you know, welcome the efforts of our colleagues and friends from Adnok and Mazda. We defined the way that we could capture the cost reductions that we could share the infrastructures. And with that in mind, we also you know, the, created a government committee to de-risk and support the development of hydrogen. We, that policy has been in place for almost one year now. It will be followed in 2025, and next year when we meet here, we will probably see that we have a development in the terms of regulation, for instance, around certification scheme or licensing schemes or technical regulations for uh, low carbon hydrogen, which together will bring hydrogen to the place where it can be or where it has to be, which is, as I said, the, you know, the key technology that will allow us to decarbonize those sectors which are difficult to decarbonize. I think what we have now is an, a landscape which is almost fully finished, prepared, and we're working on you know, some of the details that will allow the companies that want to operate in the Emirate to make the investments at a, with, a, with the clarity, with the predictability, and the, with the cost efficiency that will be able to provide the value of those investments to the economy of the UAE, and particularly to the economy of Abu Dhabi. It is now time for those um, you know, actors that you know, believe that the role of hydrogen is clear to take advantage of the possibilities that we have in the Emirate because the Emirate of Abu Dhabi is open for business when it comes to low hydrogen car uh, carbon hydrogen. I would like to just say that the Department of Energy is always happy and welcome to collaborate with all sorts of stakeholders. We are open also for business, your support, um, and your energy is going to be the fundamental driver to making hydrogen a reality that will materialize in the years to come. Thank you very much, and I wish 
you have a very fruitful day with all these discussions, which will open the eyes to so many things which are fundamental to the future investment in the hydrogen landscape. Thank you very much.